Hey guys, so today's vlog is gonna be quite an exciting one. Um, I need to go to a whole bunch of places, five places in total, to get some stuff for my bathroom renovation. I'm first getting up Ikea, I need to get a vanity, and as well as some other stuff in my room. I've wanted to add some elements to my room for a long time now, but I never had the time to go to Ikea, so I'm excited to do that now. And then I need to get some other hardware items for our showers and all that kind of stuff. It's gonna be an exciting one. We're going to a lot of places, doing a lot of stuff, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Just looking at some bathroom inspiration. Okay, these chairs I really like. I think I might get this for my desk chair. I don't know, I like the simple of it. The simple, the simplicity of it. And of course I'm not gonna get it in blue, but I'm gonna probably get it in black or like a dark gray. Pretty nice. I've also wanted to do a seating area for the longest time. And I don't know, this kind of looks good for a seating area. It's not like expensive or anything. It's only like 45 bucks, but this could be a really nice seating area, just two in the corner and then have the pillows there. I think I found it. This is it. I love the dark gray here. The sink is just pretty standard. I think I'm probably gonna have not a circle mirror, but um, a rectangle mirror with like the ones that light up at the back. But this is, I think, gonna be my inspo for my vanity. So most of our shopping is done. Uh, it was very stressful as always. Ikea is always a stressful trip. We got a good amount of stuff. Like I figured out what I'm going to do for the vanity. So we just have to go to another warehouse to pick that up because it's a special order. But other than that, we just got some other like bits and bobs. I got some stuff for the bathroom. I got some stuff like for my room. Just like other just cool little things that I needed to get. But that's pretty much about it. So yeah. Thank you. Oh, great. So I'm at my next location, and this place is bustling, so I don't know if you can hear me well, but there's a lot of people in here. I guess a lot of people are doing renovations. Here I need to basically buy a shower drain. And I'm looking for a linear shower drain actually. So it's not a regular shower drain, but like one that's long. Um, I just like the clean look of it, it's minimal. So hopefully I can get that here. So because I'm doing my bathroom floor, I need to get a new vent to match with the new flooring. But then I was like, okay, those look kind of basic. Then I saw this. Okay, if you guys don't know what this is, it's basically still an air vent, but instead of having the lines that go down, you just have a single outline here where, just, where the air comes out, and then your marble will match this one, and then it'll just look really seamless and integrated into the floor. So I probably might get this, or like the black actually. The black with the white gray marble, that'll look good. I may not be the most handy guy, and I will fully admit that. Like, I'm definitely not very good at building and all that stuff but let me tell you I do know interior design that is one for sure so I got the shower drain and this is what I mean by linear so it'll just go on one side of the shower giving it a really clean simple design and dad say hi Hello. yeah so we got some I think they're like wooden beams wooden sticks they're for his bathroom I believe so doesn't really concern me we just got to the other location of Ikea, it's like the warehouse for larger items and I'm gonna pick up my sink and my vanity. We got the vanity and sink. Also, look at what a nice day it is.
It is 4 o'clock and I haven't eaten anything since 10 o'clock. I'm starving. Um, so I ate just a cream cheese bagel at 10 in the morning and I haven't eaten anything just because we've been so busy. We've been running around everywhere trying to get all our errands done. Um, and we just haven't had time to eat. So I think we actually are on our way back home and we passed by this really, really good food court. They have the best Taiwanese pork chop and rice. So we're gonna get that. So this is one of my favorite places to get Taiwanese pork chop and rice. It's pretty much the only place I know, but I got two of the uh, number one. I'll just zoom in for you. The number one there is so good. It's literally taunting me. The fact that I can't eat this until we can get back home. It's just dangling in the car, getting cold. Are you ready? Ooh. Are you ready? Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Look at that. So that's the spicy pork. And then this is, I believe, just regular pork. But, oh, it's so good. So we have... Um, these are like, pickled veggies. We have the bok choy, um, the fried pork, as well as the rice underneath. And there's some like tofu as well. Oh my god, it's so good. I've had this in years. Okay, time to eat. I'm back home. I just finished eating. You saw how good it looked, right? The one thing that I did forget was I forgot to ask them for their special hot sauce. So unfortunately, it was lacking in the spice department. Where's the heat? Where's the sizzle? Regardless, it was still really good. And now I just want to do a little haul and show you what I got. So I'm only going to be showing you what I got from Ikea. I'm not going to show you the hardware items that I got because one, I don't think it's interesting to show you wooden beams and rings and pumps for my toilet. So I'm not going to show you that. And two, I already gave it to the contractor for them to get started on the work. So I don't even have it with me anymore. But I'm going to show you my IKEA haul. Everything that I'm going to show you right now is just kind of part one of what I need to get. A lot of the stuff I got, because we're in a rush, so I didn't have time to really look at design and look at kind of decorative elements. I really just got things that I knew I would need, regardless of how my bathroom would end up looking in the very end. So just keep that in mind. I'll tell you the price and I'll write all the names below as well. And I'll put a picture of the vanity and sink on the screen. It is the God Morgan vanity and the Odds Vengen sink. And it was kind of everything that I wanted in a vanity. It had a built-in sink. I didn't want it to be above table sink. Like the fact that it was built in, it just makes it really clean uh, and simple. As well, there was the color I wanted. I wanted a dark gray with a glossy shine and they had that as well as they're just the subtle details too so like the handles were just one line and they were thin they were seamless minimal and it wasn't super expensive either it was only 370 dollars which was in budget of course i'll show you what it looks like when it's fully built by the contractors and installed then i'll show you the final product but for now this picture will do yeah just super happy with uh, the purchase. So the first item I got was the Econ trash can. Now this is gonna be in my bathroom. It is dark gray with a, I would say like a matte texture. And I love that you can just step on it and then it opens and then there's like a soft close. Pretty nifty and it fit perfect with the theme and aesthetic of my bathroom again. I'm keeping it very simple. I'm using whites and grays in my bathroom and this would fit perfect. So that's the first thing I got. The second thing I got was the God Morgan containers. Now this was $12 and it actually is custom built for my vanity. So it fits perfectly into the cabinets of it. You can put like Q-tips, skincare, anything, and it just keeps it really organized and clean and organized. My old uh, vanity used to get really, really messy because I just put everything in there and shove it all in. So this is going to keep it very organized. I'll show you like in depth. So there's three of the smaller compartments and then one long compartment as well as a big square compartment. So if you just... 
I wanted these for so long, but I just never got around to getting these containers. So I'm glad that there's a custom fit for my vanity now. I also got a wiper. This is called the Lil Nagin, and it was, I think, 150 Because I'm going to have a stand-up glass shower, water is going to get stuck onto the glass, and this is just a way to clean it to avoid the watermarks on the glass. I also got a toilet brush, and these are so cheap. These are 150 That's pretty much what I got for the bathroom. I also got some other stuff that I just saw, and I was thought, why not get them? Got this um, cup. This was, I think, $2.50. This is the... Dynera mug. I believe this is their new line of dinner sets. Like, dinnerware with plates and everything. Nothing super special about it. It's just a regular mug. But I do really like the color of it. It's a dark, kind of charcoal gray. I've really been into this charcoal gray lately and I just needed a new mug. My old mugs, they just weren't doing it for me anymore. They were just kind of old and they didn't have that aesthetic touch to it, but this does so I got it and it was cheap. I also got this, which I believe everyone actually has one except for me. This is... I literally can't... like, I'm trying to read the name of these and I have no idea what the name of it because it's all in Swedish and they don't have it on the packaging. I have no idea what this is called but I will put it on the screen. Everyone has these. I've seen them all over Instagram stories and I just never got one so I finally have one. Just great for water. Um, you can add like iced water, lemon water and I'm telling you obviously it's good to drink more water and like a tip to drinking more water is when your water is aesthetic so putting lemon in here putting mint ice cubes it's definitely gonna make you want to drink more water so that's pretty much all that i got at ikea today i know this is not like my regular content but honestly interior design is such a big passion of mine and i know for many of you guys you guys also like uh, interior design so i thought it'd be a fun one to share and fun one to film definitely uh stay tuned if you're interested in this journey i have a renovation video coming up so showing you the actual progress of the renovation so then ripping everything out and adding everything new i'm definitely going to do a makeover video so of me decorating my bathroom once it's all done and possibly even like a room tour i know quite a few people have asked about my room and it's not quite done i still have things to add and things to change but if you guys are interested in more interior design things i'd definitely be down to film them and show them to you guys if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you guys want to see more of me, uh, whether that's school related or, you know, just vlogs, uh, definitely hit the subscribe button and hit the post notifications as well so you get notified every time I post a new video. And if you want to follow me on Instagram, I'll link it down below. But that's it for me, and I will see you friends in the next video. Bye.